What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we've got a little little project I wanted to video. Uh, it's been a while since we've done any fiberglassing on this channel and uh, this is a perfect opportunity to show uh, you know this happens to a lot of guys. They're hoods blow up on their fox bodies and um, it busts the latch, busts the latch area and stuff. That's all fixable if you can just uh, learn how to lay a little fiberglass and it's not hard at all. I can show you guys how to uh, grind it, how to prep it, um, you know, sand the area, you know, lay out your mat, show you how to cut your pieces and all that stuff. It's, it's real easy, it's simple. And you can fix these and grind it. Yeah, it's nasty. It gets everywhere. You want to wear a dust mask for sure. Uh, but I can show you how to fix these. It's it's not that hard. And you can keep them trashing your $800 hoods over a couple little cracks or you know some busted fiberglass that's easily fixable. So let's go check a look at this thing here. And um, we've got a Fox body 89 convertible we're working on. And it's actually got um, the you know the same problem, so it's perfect for this video. But uh, we'll go check it out. We're, we've been working on the car, and uh, the car is almost ready for paint. So now here we are, getting all the pieces ready. So let's go check out what we've got. All right, there's the car, looking good. It's finally got its lines back. This thing was beat to death. Um, it was rough, rough, rough. But now we're, the fenders were rotted out, so we've got new fenders and stuff for it. But this uh, hood here is totally savable. It's the old uh, Cervini's. I think they call it the Storm and Norman hood. So the guy loves his hood. He don't want to get rid of it, but, you know, there's a few issues. A little chip here. That's easily fixable. But the main issue is here. Uh, on this, this glass, you can see that's where the... Um, latches mounted there's a bolt hole here a bolt hole here and then this is open and then from the you know if the hood's on the car you've got like a latch opening here so if you guys can see kind of what i'm talking about there and then here it caught the um i guess probably the secondary i don't know i, I don't know what happened somehow it, it got pulled and uh, this is actually supposed to be squared off you can see the original cuts from the factory but um, so now it's it's not going to work it's not going to catch i don't guess so he wants all this fixed and replaced done back right so i've grounded a little bit here and you can kind of see um, i just use a three inch roll lock 36 grit on a you know three inch grinder and that'll, that'll get it all ready 100 percent. just grind it you can see it's kind of light right here but i left you know i left that thin layer i'm going to go ahead and run some tape over the back and then I'll tape a little form on the back side here. And then I'll just lay out my glass, the pieces I've cut. I just bought this matting, you know, right from the local jobber store, local paint store. Um, and then you can also get the resin. This is USC fiberglass resin and the hardener from the same place. But just cut it out with a razor blade in little strips about the size of your repair area. And then we'll wet that stuff out with our resin after we mix it with our hardener. We'll wet this stuff out, and then we'll throw it on here. And uh, we'll just let it dry. It'll probably take, you know, most of the rest of the day, probably all day. And then we'll come back and hit it with the grinder and shape it off, smooth it, grind it, uh, you know, put our holes back in it and everything. And make it look a little bit more like factory, and it'll be fixed. So... His latch will actually sit flush. It was actually, it had it so broke up here, it was pulled up. So this will work uh, and it'll save his hood. It's a good quality hood. So, you know, sense in getting rid of it. But let me go ahead and hook this grinder up and I'll finish grinding out this rest of this little bit here that's busted. You do not want to leave, when you're grinding it, you see the little white stuff. You do not want to leave any of that, okay? That's busted fiberglass, it's weak. So we kind of want to get the rest of that out a little bit, mainly here. The rest of this is just like cracks, old cracks. So if you go grinding all that, you're gonna lose all your structure. You won't have nothing. So don't worry about chasing the cracks and stuff, but get uh, you know get all this busted loose stuff out, you can see. So I'm gonna hit that a little bit 
and then we'll be back. Alright guys, we got it all ready. Now I'm going to, uh, I've got my resin poured in my cup here. I'm going to go ahead and um, put in my activator. Now it don't, it don't take much, like probably 10 cc's or so. You guys will see. Um, I don't have an accurate measurement here for this, but like I said, it don't take much. And it don't have to be precise. You want enough to set it up, but um, you know not too much but anyhow you can always test a little batch on the side to see but when this is done it should only take maybe a full hour and i can probably work this grind it all up and stuff i mean if i got the right amount of activator in it so they do have cups with measuring things so you can actually do it right but that's what we're doing doing it right <laughs> all right stir it up good you'll know if it's right it'll start kicking and it stinks real nice stir it up. all right now we'll just take our mat we've got prepared here Got our cup set up on it. Just lay it down. We're gonna put some on there to keep our mat from running away on us. When we touch our brush to it. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna do it all. I don't think we're gonna need it all. I cut a lot. But we'll keep matting her down. All right, I think that's good enough. Here we go. Let's take it once it's wetted out pretty good. Oh, I forgot my tape. Hold on one second. Let me put some tape on these holes. All right, guys, we're back. I got that uh, tape on there. You can see just kind of protecting that stuff from falling through where I need it. So back at it. All right, I'm gonna lay this piece right here. Looks like it'll go real good right there. Nice and wet. Now you want this stuff to lay out nice and flat. So if it's not, you might have to rip. You might actually have to use two hands and lay the camera down. Haha. <laughs> or just try your best to use small enough pieces. But I think we're gonna be able to manage it. We just want to beef this up real nice. Real, real nice. And we'll reshape it here in a little bit. Just keep laying them on there till you've got the whole thing completely covered. At least one, maybe two layers of glass. I like to put a little extra on because you can always grind it back off. But if you gotta add more, then you gotta do all this stinky, dirty, grinding crap again. So like I said, I'll add quite a bit, build it up, and then we'll grind it back to where we need her. 
but just make sure there's no air bubbles in it. So what I'm doing after I get it on there is rubbing it out. I don't actually have an air bubble roller, um, but you can really, if you get an air bubble, like right there, you can really see it. So you can just kind of use your finger as long as it's lubed with enough resin and you can This one over here and we are almost set up already okay take a break all right guys our other resin started setting up on us a little bit so I mixed up just a little bit more and I'm gonna finish wetting this out and I'll get these pieces put down but you guys hopefully get the idea now don't cover, I'm not going to cover that original hole. I'm going to build up all the way around it so that way I know where my holes are and I'm not re-drilling them in the wrong spot. But I think I got the right amount of pieces here. One across there. One a nice one across there. Okay. Let's rub this out the rest of the way. Okay. I'm actually going to put a little resin on it. It'll help me see the rest of the air bubbles. Now I can still see my hole here, so that way I know where I need to be. There's, I put just a little bit of stuff over it. A little bit of glass, but you can see it's falling over my edges, but I'll have to trim all that, okay? Just make sure you get it all filled back in, everything you took out. This stuff here was already almost setting up, but it looked, it actually turned out really, really good. So hopefully in about maybe 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes, I'll be able to come back to this and um, actually be able to shape it and show you guys how we do that and make it back original. We'll be back. All right, guys, real quick. I'm going to, uh, I went ahead and marked the holes. You can still see them. I went ahead and marked them with the marker and marked all this so I know where to cut and grind. The rest of it's just got to be kind of smoothed out. It's been about an hour or so. It's all nice and hard solid fiberglass again so let's go ahead and just hit this real quick
figured that all out. Give you guys a closer look at that. It's all back. Now I'll just kind of shape this a little bit with the grinder. Smooth it all off. And it'll be ready for a little bit of filler and then primer. All right, guys, when you're doing any grinding or cutting, make sure you're wearing the appropriate PPE, a mask and everything. And, um, and when you're grinding this glass afterwards, like I did, you can see I didn't take it down all the way. I left it up just a little bit, okay? That, I just knocked down the rough. That's all I did with that. I didn't, I didn't really take off much material. I left quite a bit there, and I will hand sand that with 36 grit, 40 grit, and then um, 80 grit. And then once I get it to 80 grit, pretty smooth and level, back to where it should be, then I'll apply a skim coat of filler to fill all my pinholes. And then it'll be ready for primer. And then everything else, of course, will have to be sanded and prepped. I like, if you guys know anything about us, we like our uh, undersides of our hood to look just as good as the up, you know, the top side. So. We're going to clean this up really, really nice, do away with all the rest of these little defects in it. Um, if there's any more glassing, then I'll be glassing, but I think this is just old seam sealer uh, for the most part. And just that right there was an air void, so I'll just scuff that up, put a little dura glass in that. It's not really worth glassing that. It's not a hole or anything, and it's not bad. So um, I'm going to go ahead and. Set you guys back up here real quick and I'll get this thing 
sand it and come back and put some filler on it. All right, guys. So I ran through the grits, started with 40, went to 80. Now it's all smooth, feathered out. Okay, I got just a tiny little bit more sanding to do right here around that to feather it out. But everything else is, you know, perfectly feathered. Very few pinholes, but I always still skim the entire thing with filler because when you go to spray primer on this 2k primer it'll just it'll there'll be a thousand pinholes if you don't so it's best just to coat the whole thing block that all back out sand your area then 2k prime it so i got a little spot to fill there but it's basically what i'm going to do is like i said finish sanding that real quick clean up my mess and then uh, we'll be back when we're applying filler. All right, guys, I finished sanding it, got it all the rest of it sanded out and prepped. It's all, you know when it's ready, when everything's feathered together and it's, you know, low and it feels nice and smooth. You might see a little few pinholes and that's where this filler is gonna come in. It's gonna mix a little up real quick. Definitely more than we need, but I'm just using Evercoat Z-Grip. Um, you can pretty much use any filler for this stage. This is just what I prefer. Some people will uh, say you have to use gel coat, you know, over these because it was gel coat originally. That's not the case. Your 2K primer will blend and feather just fine right into this old gel coat as long as it's prepped, right? Um, it will uh, if you don't put a little filler though like I said it's it will definitely make a, it'll have a lot of pinholes so I'm just gonna coat this whole thing my glass work was pretty well on point so not really much I don't I'm not having to do any straightening or anything so I'm pretty much just coating it nice and smooth Put quite a bit of hardener in it. I hope it don't set up on me, but it's a hot day today, so sometimes it's hard to judge that stuff. You definitely got to put a little less on these hot days. Starting to set up. That's all right. I'll smooth this out here. I think that's all of it. There we go. That'll fill it all in. I'll come back here in a minute with some 80 grit and block that out real quick, and then she'll be ready for some filler or some uh, primer. All right, guys, I uh, got it all sanded. You can tell what I did was uh, knocked it down just a little bit with a piece of 80 grit. 
Then I put 80 grit on a block, blocked it all out. Then I smoothed it over with 180 and that'll get it ready for a primer. So I'm not gonna show you guys primer. I'm sure if you're doing this much, uh, you probably understand how to use primer. Plus I have other videos showing you how to apply 2K primer and the steps on that. But I thought this would be a good video for the Fox body guys. Cause I've been seeing, you know, people throwing these hoods away, junking them and stuff over, you know, cracks and busts. And you can take this same process right here and apply it to anything else or anywhere else on this hood. Grind it, glass it, smooth it out, filler, block it out, primer, then you can go right onto your paint. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something. Um, I'll try to get this video together tonight and get it posted and if you would, leave us a like, share, a subscribe if you learned anything. If you liked the video, if you got any questions or any comments, just drop them down below. We'd love to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys.